What is up guys? It's Molly from Two Moms Two Gardens. Now today I'm doing a couple things in this video, but it all has to do with seeds. And is it too late to start a garden? It is never too late to start a garden. There is always some sort of seed, at least for us in the South, that we can sow and grow. We are going to start one with the first thing. I'm super pumped about this. My grow light bulb. I'm so excited. So when you are buying a grow light, you can go from like five bucks to like thousands of dollars. Janelle has a super awesome grow light um, that does all the bells and whistles. It's just a bulb. And I'm going to put it in this. It's like a clip-on lamp. Okay, bulbs, grow lights, plants inside. You can see we are in my sunroom. It, it's a sunroom, but it doesn't get a ton of sun, ironically. This is also our bunny room or our bunny stay. So it is windows on three sides, but on that side over there is a sliding door to go out to a screened in porch to then go outside, which is covered. And also people who lived here before us planted Bradford pear trees all along the front and over there. You didn't realize that trees that you would plant would need to be chopped off at the top. Bradford pears are those trees. So now they are so tall, they are shading out everything. And we need like a tree company. It's gonna cost thousands of dollars to come in and chop these trees. We just like, we don't have extra thousands of dollars to just go chop trees. We're, we're working on it. We're, we're gonna get there. Anyway, back to talking about fun stuff. Grow lights. So lumens, Kelvin. And what, oh, sir, I kinda needed that. Here, you can play with this piece. Destroy box. There we go. All right. So lumens, come on camera, focus for me. It says 1500. Focus, focus. 1500 lumens. Lumens is the brightness. So that is how far away or close to your plants it needs to be. So if you have like 50 lumens, it's going to need to be like, you know, plant bulb. Now this is 1500 lumens. So I'm hope so you need at least a thousand in reality. This bulb was not expensive. So you need at least a thousand, which makes my plants here and my bulb up here, which is nice. Then Kelvin. Well, Kelvin, see if I can find it on here. You need at least, did you eat dirt, sir? You did eat dirt. I have a big box of dirt right here to make soil blocks and he's getting in it. Do we have the, do we have this? Here, okay, we can have this. I don't see on the box where it says it. It was 6,500, so 6,500 Kelvin. What that does is that does like the, the blue, blueness of the light or like the warmness, like the saturation of the light. Now, typically like in a house, you, you use like a very warm light. Uh, plants don't want that. <laughs> they want a very blue light, a very, when you look at the sun, it almost seems white. They want like very whitish, or they want something more on that blue scale. Um, so I have a new light bulb. Let there be light. Let's do this. I'm talking a little fast because I have been trying for three days to do this video and my sweet, sweet chickadees have just not let, let it happen. So we are going to do this. Soil block trees. Hmm. I don't think that's reach very well. I have to get an extension cord. I'll be right back. I am back with all the extensions of the cord. All right, righty. 
Now I found this light out in our shed. Super old. Let's see how it works. If not, I'll have to get a different one. I think this will work though. Is that real bright, baby? I'm sorry. So this will be great. And I can clip this at different heights. I might even just like, I got a hook in the ceiling. I might just put a string on that and use that. So for the sake of lighting in this video. That's, that's a lot of light. I'm gonna turn that off. See my, my face better. Okay. Oh, all the dirt, sir. Is it too late to start a garden? No, it is never too late to start a garden. These are my soil block trays. I really like these trays. These are the lids of like a Sterilite tub. But you buy the lid and the tub separate at Lowe's and I just wanted the lids. I really like these and I like that I can water in these cracks. And the, now if I have little soil blocks, like a bunch of them on here, I'll have to water so it, it sits above there and they'll, they'll wick it up. Um, but I can water, I can pour the water in the cracks and it just kind of like disperses all over as long as it's on a level surface. So, soil blocks. I want to use, I don't like the mix I use. I use just like kind of a potting mix last year. Look at you already, all dirty. You all dirty already. You getting that dirt. You silly baby boy. Okay, so I have this cheapy, I don't have like a super nice soil block maker because I just wanted to try soil blocks. Just like gardening, you have to figure out what works for you when starting seeds. Janelle, and I do it for certain seeds, We'll take something like this, scoop dirt into it, put little furrows, and just sprinkle the seeds in a line. Then she'll prick them out and put it in something like this. I do like that method, not for everything. If you are going to have cells, I would at least suggest a tapered cell and something like this is from a store, but uh, something with a big hole so you can pop it out and I have to yank on the plant. There's a lot to say about soil blocks. I really like soil blocks for most things. Most things, not all things. Oh, you up here, it's just not gonna work, is it? Okay, soil blocks. Do I love them? I do. Do I like them? I do. Want some more of them? I'm just kidding. You tell I grew up in the 90s. Um, so you take it, you squish. See, you can't really see what I'm doing, can you? You take this, it has four little spots. You squish it in there. And the biggest part about soil blocks, push like a plunger, is making sure your wetness, which I do not have the correct wetness, is correct. Um, this is just Fox Farms Poco Loco. Highly suggest putting green sand in it if you can get it. Green sand is just doesn't exist right now. You can see way better there. Perfect. Okay. Water. Fox Farms. Coco Loco. You can get green sand. Get green sand. Has a lot of minerals. A lot of root growth. It's good for seed babies. Now, the start of your seeds is more important anything else. If you start your seeds in killer soil and then transplant them to a really crappy soil, they'll still do all right. You start them in a mediocre soil and transplant them into an amazing, you know, fungi-filled, bacteria-filled, living soil, and they're only going to do okay. So, there's one thing I can consider. Oh, there's a seashell in here. My children make everything a sensory bin. All right. There's one thing I can suggest to you. It is 
buy your soil, good soil, before you buy your seeds. Because you will have a chunk of money to spend on your garden, right? Put some money aside, garden stuff. That's what I save up for. Okay, I mean, I save up because I want garden fun stuff. And anyway, I save up for garden things. So you save a chunk of money, do your garden things. Now, you buy that soil before you get your seeds because you will go on Baker Creek or Johnny Seeds or Southern Exposure Seed Exchange and you'll go, oh my God, I must grow it all. And you will buy all the seeds, more seeds than you possibly have gardened for. And then you'll go, oh, I don't have any money left for soil. I'll just get this cheap bag of soil to start them off with. And you will regret it, my friends. You will regret it. So I'm going to squish this in here. Soil block maker. Man. This is also an extremely cheap soil block maker. Don't let this deter you. But, well, if you don't drop it, you know, if you drop it, it also doesn't do well. There's your soil block. So it doesn't make it in a square like most people see, but it has a little divot on top. Let me see, right there for where you put your seed in. Um, oh, you know, I can pick it up, I can move it. It's a good soil block, it works. Now, of course, my fall stuff will not be in soil blocks quite as long as spring stuff. Because spring stuff, you're playing it fast and loose with the weather. So, is it warm enough? Can I put it out? Well, I can put it out, but I gotta make sure I can bring it back in. Oh, that frost date. It's only a guesstimation. Oh, there's a worm in here. I guarantee you. So this, there's a worm. I guarantee you one of my kids found a worm and came and put it in this toy. They go, oh, dirt, here's a go wormy. <laughs> okay, I'll just put you to the side, buddy. So some seeds. Hey, so if you want to know what kind of seeds I'm planting, me and Janelle did a video up in my tree house and I'll link it down in the description. Oh, also I'll link Janelle's fall tomato seed video in the description. more people because that's how the YouTube algorithm works and if you're already subscribed we appreciate you
well, I'm not going to stand here and have you guys watch me plant every single seed. You'll see it all growing in the garden this fall. But having a passion to learn is what gets us through hard times. And you got to do it while you bounce. <laughs> Thank you for letting me share my passion with you. I'll see you tomorrow. baby carrier when your mom and you want to do anything learn to do it with the baby on your back one thing I want to say always plant more than you need and always plant more than you need I want to redo that I want to redo that. Always start more than you need. Always plant more than you need. There it is. <laughs>